Welcome to another episode of Medication Mondays. Today we're talking about Alprazolam or Xanax. Now, Xanax is a benzodiazepine and there's a lot to talk about with benzodiazepines, so let's get into it. So I think the first um, way to start any discussions about benzodiazepines is to talk about risk versus benefit. So benzodiazepines are complex medicines um, in the sense that uh, sometimes you absolutely need them. Okay, that's unarguable. Sometimes people need benzodiazepines, full stop. Not all the time. And um, it really is a uh, medicine that you do not want to take long term uh, if you can avoid it. There's few exceptions to the rules. Some people have such severe mental illness that they need it uh, longer term. But um, yeah, it, it's a medication that does carry risks. So right off the bat, I just wanted to say that um, if this medicine has been prescribed for you by a doctor and you've had you know, a good discussion with a doctor about the risks versus benefits, that's good. Hopefully this video adds to your knowledge of the risks and benefits so that you can be more educated when you talk to your doctor about these kinds of things. Um, and you know, as I was saying, some people absolutely need them. You know, if you're having a seizure, the first line therapy to ending a seizure is intramuscular midazolam kind of thing. So, you know, some people need benzodiazepines. Um, and also it's used in panic disorders and uh, generalized anxiety disorders uh, in, in severe cases and when um, and, and as on an as needed basis. So for some people who get panic attacks, they, they can have um, some benzos available to them to, ter to help terminate the panic attack. And sometimes people don't even use them, they just like to know that if they have a panic attack, there's some benzos around that can help them. But it's important to remember the negative um, and the risks, the negative aspects and the risks of benzodiazepines, which are they are addictive and they build tolerance. Um, so, the, you know, uh, you do develop a resistance to them over time and you need more and more to have the same effect. Um, and, uh, and they do, they are associated with cravings, uh, and withdrawal effects when you come off of them, which can be really debilitating. So let's talk a bit more about Xanax. As we said, um, anxiety disorders, panic disorders, sometimes also used in insomnia, um, uh, to help with IBS, uh, or other somatic, uh, you know, somatization of anxiety. And what I mean by that is people with anxiety disorders, uh, can sometimes hold a lot of tension in the muscles. Uh, and sometimes that can cause pain, like abdominal cramping and things like that. And so they can be used to help relieve some of those symptoms. And sometimes they're also used in, um, in, uh, adjunct, in an adjunct capacity. So they're used in addition to other medicines. So if someone's very manic um, and they're becoming psychotic uh, in, in a bipolar disorder, you might also use Xanax as part of the whole medication therapy to get them out of the manic state. So how do benzodiazepines like Xanax work? Well, if you remember, there's that balance in the brain between the excitatory stimulating uh, glutamate uh, and it's on a seesaw with the inhibitory sedating GABA. Uh, so, uh, and benzodiazepines are GABAergic. They, they, um, they act uh, to increase the effects of GABA. So, which is a neurotransmitter that sedates you, right? Uh, so what they do is essentially the benzodiazepine binds to the GABA ligand uh, receptors um, and it's, it binds at a different place to where the actual GABA molecule binds to and what that means is it has an allosteric effect, it, it adds to the effects of GABA and it opens up those channels which lets chloride run through which um, essentially means the nerves don't fire so that it chill, it's inhibitory. So um, you take benzos and it um, has a GABA effect on nerves to increase the inhibition and, and you know speculatively it's it's the nerves in the fear circuits in the anxiety circuits that it that it uh, affects and that's why you get this like um, suppression of the uh, anxiety responses. It usually works very quickly um, within minute you know within 10 minutes um, oral medicines can start having an effect and usually after half an hour you have uh, some effect. The goal of treatment for people who have chronic anxiety disorders um, is really to stabilize the situation and then use them just as an as needed on an as needed basis. Uh, so not for a regular daily use. There are some exceptions to this rule, but very rarely. And you know, it's it's really in close. You have to work closely with a psychiatrist with frequent re-reviewing um, to justify using uh, benzodiazepines on a daily, regular basis. 
It's important to note that this is not a cure. This does not cure anxiety. Uh, anxiety can be a relapsing, remitting, chronic condition, and this can uh, help as part of a treatment plan. But the treatment plan also has to include you know, psychotherapy, like with a psychologist, um, healthy lifestyle measures, exercise, good food, diet, uh, good sleep hygiene, especially good circadian um, rhythm. You know, good sleep hygiene is very important. Um, and then also medicines as well. If it's not working and you're developing a tolerance to it, you need to talk to your doctor about that very soon and work with your doctor to, to probably try and wean down the dose. So in terms of the side effects, they're usually secondary to the mechanism of action, which is that they are, it's usually sedating. Um, um, yeah, benzodiazepines are, they're triggering that inhibitory response, which makes you sleepy. They can make you feel groggy, you know, difficult concentration, brain fog. Uh, you can feel a bit dizzy. And the high risks ones, which are very rare, is it um, is respiratory arrest. So uh, they, if they're so inhibitory that if you have very high doses of them, they can affect the, the centers of the brain that control breathing. And so you, you can have a problems with your breathing. If you or anyone you know is taking a um, benzodiazepine and is unresponsive and unable to be awoken, you need to go to the hospital straight away. Even if they're not taking a benzodiazepine, if anyone can't be awoken, then you need to go to the hospital straight away. That's just a good rule in life. In terms of dose, the, the key rule is it's the lowest effective dose for the shortest amount of time, essentially. And you need to be reviewing with your doctor very frequently. Um, and I guess the other thing to remember with alprazolam is there's also extended release, but like versions of it. So there's the immediate release and the modified or extended release. So the immediate release gives you like very quick effects and the extended relief has effects over hours, but less intense. And the key thing there is to not crush or break or carve the tablets of the extended relief release because that affects um, how your body uh, absorbs it. And whenever you start a benzodiazepine, you should have an, a kind of rough end date in mind. And when it's time to stop, you do have to taper down the, the doses. For people who take big doses of Xanax, like four plus milligrams per day, there is risks of withdrawal symptoms and, and seizures. Um, and so you can't just stop abruptly. Uh, you need to work with your, your GP or your doctor to taper the dose down. And it can be really tricky to differentiate what is a withdrawal symptom. So you've stopped the benzodiazepine and you're having agitation and withdrawals versus what was what are the symptoms of that anxiety disorder that you were taking the benzodiazepines for, um, which can also look like agitation and um, anxiety. And so that's where you really need to work closely with your doctor. Okay, so a couple of concluding points. Advantages, has a quick um, onset of action, uh, makes you feel good uh, when you're very anxious. Alprazolam or Xanax particularly is less sedating than other um, benzodiazepines. And there's an availability of a extended release version of it. The negative or the, the, the disadvantages are like with all um, benzodiazepines, those are the side effects we talked about. It's addictive, it makes you, you know, feeling good can lead to abuse and taking more than you should. Um, and taking too much of it can cause problems with respiration and sedation and, um, and so uh, it can be very dangerous. And stopping it can have withdrawal effects as well, which can be really, really challenging. Okay, that is it for this video. If you stayed till now, please leave a comment of headphones in the comment section so I know which people are staying till the very end of the video. Really appreciate um, your interest. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, sharing it with your friends, all that good stuff to help us YouTubers. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.